Hi guys and welcome to andyguy.online um, and all of the reviews. Uh, I hope you're enjoying them. I hope you enjoyed the whole series with Vivan. And all in all, I just hope you're enjoying the site. I know that, uh, you know, after a while, uh, things tend to get very similar, but I try my best to give you um, a, a whole mix, a cornucopia of different videos. Um, the last one I did was the swimming pool uh, shower um, and uh, so I had a shower there and that was a different location and I do the sex toys and then I do my undie guest videos as well so I try my best to give you uh, you know different things and not just the same old stuff um, so I hope you have continued to be watching my videos and elite club members of course um, so yeah um, lots and lots 550 videos I'm really proud of that and I would like to thank all of you for being on that journey with me no this is not a harness um, it's meant to pull my um, it's, it's posture correction um, so I'm gonna take it off in a little bit but I just thought it does look kind of sexy like a harness uh, so I thought I'd start off the video with that and then take a little bit of stuff off and talk to you um, about uh, yeah just something that's really important something that we all do right we all use the dating apps or the hookup apps and a lot of times I find the people just don't know how to use them they just don't know how to dm they don't know how to message so i thought hey let's talk a little bit about how to do that guys and how to sort of um, get to your a game in terms of messaging and it's just gonna be better for you because one you won't sound like you are um, you know like from the dark ages um, and two uh, you may actually find a little bit more success after you spend so much time on these apps and how much does it get you like does it get does even one or percent or five percent of the time that you use translate into something constructive like a meeting or like a hookup or like dating um, so I think that's important for us to talk about all right, so I have stripped down to my addicted swimmerwear, uh, which I have in a couple of different colors. But today I just thought, okay, this pink and blue looks pretty cool. Uh, love the, yeah, I just like that particular combination. It looks really sexy and fun. Um, so yeah, if you haven't checked out addicted.es, go and check it out. Um, done loads of reviews for them. Um, at andyguy.online um, so yeah I was thinking about you know how much time I waste in trying to educate these guys on Grindr when they message me and I try to be tongue-in-cheek I try to be a little slapstick I try to be a little like ironic um, and you know cryptic sometimes and they're like okay I don't understand um, so you know just to get them to realize the way they're messaging is totally off it makes absolutely no sense it is it is self-defeating and it is rude it's vulgar and you need to know how to use the app that's what I always tell them before you start using it yes you need to know how to communicate because that's the whole point of it otherwise you are wasting your time it's not working for you as well and a lot of them say oh you know you don't need to teach me English or you don't need to teach me grammar or you don't need to teach me courtesy um, but if I don't who's going to uh, because clearly the people who were supposed to didn't and at the end of the day you're doing me a disservice and it's not gonna work for you either so especially if you want quality and I would say that anybody would want 
quality right I'm sure there are lots of people who want the quantity as well in which case I'm sure they'll be they'll be serviced but for the most part I feel like everybody everybody could do with a little bit of learning a little bit of information about how to use the app in a better way so let's get started with the first one from uh, the point being where are you from right when you're saying from uh, I just think that just saying from is not enough you need to say more than that you need to say so what I say is uh, where are you at uh, from doesn't mean anything from you know I would be like I'm from my mother's womb uh, I'm, I'm, I'm from planet Earth uh, so yeah so I just feel like the whole from thing I just understand where it's coming from and I don't know that whole thing of we want to be quick and we want to get this done with quickly um, I, I don't know I just I just feel like you just have to add a few more words is it that difficult is it really so what I say is where are you at which sounds a lot better because I could be from some place but I'm actually at another place right you could be from another city another country and that's not what I guess so you know if I think somebody's from another country I said oh hey are you visiting how's your trip been um, that's what it's called making conversation so ask where are you at um, where are you located where do you live uh, are you around here somewhere are you in the vicinity uh, you know don't say you seem close uh, I get messages sometimes saying you seem close that's the first message and I'm like okay so so what so just because I'm close I don't know I don't know what does that automatically and this is from profiles without a photo and I'm like am I automatically supposed to say okay come on let's hook up just because we're close uh, I don't know it's just it's really weird so don't say that either um, the next one is pics right a lot of guys say they just message pics and, and I'm like what no hi no hey no how are you doing no good morning no good afternoon just pics and I'm like pics and the guy has nothing on his profile and he even if you don't have a profile photo the least you would do is then send me photos or send me an album before saying pics I am not going to send you my pics when my pics are already on profile because I'm not hiding um, and so so yeah don't do that don't ask for pics unless you are sending them and if you have sent them and the other person doesn't have them on their profile then then logic dictates that ideally the other person will re respond uh, they'll send you photos as well and you know maybe you can say where you are when you send the photos and and that makes things a little easier all right so then what about the guys who send um, dick pics pictures of their privates without even asking you so for those of you who don't know Grindr has um, a, an option in the profile which actually says like you put your name your, you don't put your name whatever your profile name your age your preferences and uh, you know a way you'd like to meet up and it has something called um, uh, NSFW pictures right so not safe for work photos and are you fine with that or not so it gives people the option it gives me the option to say yes please you can send me your x-rated photos no and I think it, there's an option not at first which is I think the one that I put not at first so first conversation then you can share your photos um, if you share an album fine I guess you know I can decide whether I want to open it or not um, but then just sending the the single pictures and then you don't send the face picture right you send me dick pics and there's no face and I'm like I'm sorry is that the only portion of you that is going to be visiting or that I'm going to visit it's not enough and clearly you are not a good-looking person if all you have to show is that 
um, or if you think that that's that's the the motivator that's gonna get you that's gonna get you what you want maybe maybe I'm sure the guys out there who will be like yes I want that I don't care what the person's face looks like sometimes even what the person's body looks like and then of course you have the torsos uh, and the torso sometimes are not even great and I'm like your torso isn't great and you're sending me that photo I've slept with guys who uh, you know they may have a belly they may be bigger guys but their faces are cute and I like it and I would sleep with them for that and so yeah it, it doesn't make sense for you to do only that a face is really important to me don't send the dick pics unless you ask you may have the perfect perfect um, anatomy but I just feel like and you can be proud of it as well which is what I always say in my underwear videos be proud of your bulge but no I don't think that it's right to just send it without asking without checking whether the person's okay to receive pictures like that at first all right so what's the next one reply reply please sometimes people say reply please uh, which I guess is better than just reply but uh, if the person's not replied I don't really think it's polite to be asking them to reply or force them to reply why aren't you replying why no reply reply me immediately um, so don't do that 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 makes absolutely no sense if the person wanted to reply they would uh, I don't see the point of saying to the person reply or that sometimes I've gotten um, I'd appreciate a reply or either way even if it's a no reply and I'm like I don't know I mean I guess I could say no and I have to some some of the guys um, but I'm just like if I haven't replied and you've just sent me a, a, an album and I haven't replied it pretty much means that I'm not interested um, so I, I, I just don't understand the whole point behind doing that um, and also I just feel it's not good for a person to, to be told no not interested uh, on multiple occasions so if somebody doesn't reply to me I'm just like okay they're not interested I don't need to be told and I don't think it's good for anybody's state of mind um, and I'm assuming some guys would have a lot of guys not replying to them I don't know what the thing is what is that need that you need to know yes or no why what do you think that that person has they've looked at your profile and they've not replied so I, I don't understand what what it is and what do you do do you collate all the yes and no's and and do you weigh them or I mean why do you need to know yes or no and if it were a yes you would have gotten that reply right um, so I don't think that that's needed um, so moving on to the next one don't be insulting so why do you need to be insulting or rude so I can say that I have been rude sometimes to guys who've been rude or vulgar with me um, not rude but I've been very firm and you know I've like scolded them a little bit as well I'm just like no I'm sorry that is not the way to be talking to anybody um, and also I think in in certain countries people are rude about you know the other person's looks where the whole that's where the whole reply thing comes in and where the guy uh, sees the photos you've sent him and he's like you know actually you're not I'm sorry you don't have a great body or you're too fat or I don't know who want, would want to sleep with you and you're not my type or you know you don't need to offend a person um, like you know because of their physicality or anything you can just move on you don't have to reply you can just say I'm sorry I don't think that you're my type maybe or I'm not interested um, you know you can you can be gentle and and I think that is so important if we in the community cannot be nice to each other then don't expect the bigots the prejudiced people the racists um, the 
well, the racists, you know, I mean, you know, that's what I'm trying to say that all the people who have some sort of uh, prejudice uh, will be justified, right? If, if everyone, if we in our communities are okay dissing each other and belittling each other, then there's nothing to stop the other people. And, you know, you can't say that we can be bitchy, but they can't. Um, we need to be good to each other if we expect other people to be good to us. Um, so I think that's important. Um, I think it's important to state your intentions clearly in your profile. Uh, and for that you need to have something written in your profile. Uh, if you don't have something written in your profile, then how, how will I know? So that's the thing, lazy, lazy, lazy. That's all I can think of when I see blank profiles. I'm like, even if you have a hot picture or hot photos, if you have a blank profile, you know, I would not, I would, I would give you lower points. I wouldn't choose not to message you maybe because I'm just like, I don't know what this person wants and it just looks like it'd be too much hassle asking you all those questions when it's baked into the app, right? It's baked into the app to ask you all those questions um, about your preferences, about, you know, giving you a chance to say what you're looking for, um, you know, relationships, dates, right now, friends, whatever it is. So be careful about what you choose. And that's another thing. Make sure you choose the ones that you actually want because I've had guys who've had relationship and dates and then when I ask them, I, I, I still stupidly ask, okay, so what are you looking for? I don't know whether it's stupid or not, but because after I ask that, they say, uh, fun and friends. So I'm like, but your profile says relationships and dates. Yeah, but right now I'm looking for I'm like, okay, so then maybe you need to change that. So that's another reason why I have to ask, in spite of it being there, at least be true to what you've put in your profile. And there are guys who have said right now, who then tell me relationship. Maybe because they see that that's one of the things that I've got in my profile, they think that that's what's gonna get them to meet me. Um, but it won't. I'm not stupid. Those are the guys who are stupid. So the whole profile photo or photos dilemma, you know, just send your album, put some regular photos, put some, you know, I guess, only photos, yeah. Um, then of course you have guys who can link their Instagram profiles, this is especially true on apps like Tinder, um, but then and you click on it and if it goes to their profile it's basically, it's private. So don't link your Instagram profile if it's a private profile, it makes no sense and if that's the only source of your pictures then that makes absolutely no sense. So unless it's an open profile, don't link it. Um, you know, and, and certainly don't do this just to get more followers on Instagram. That's old, that's been done, everybody knows the scam. And speaking of scams, I've done a whole video on the Grinder Boyfriend scam, the Customs Airport scam, the UK US doctor scam. I hope all of you have watched it. Really important. Um, you can lose money if you're not careful. Thanks. I've got like. 30 messages from different guys who said they have gone through it um, in the last six months to a year and uh, you know you need to be careful about that and I'm really happy that I've helped in some way um, so okay let's move on to the next one photos with friends uh, Grindr doesn't have that many Tinder does so try not to put photos with other people in your um, in your in your profile it makes absolutely no sense to do that uh, uh, so and especially if those other guys a lot of times what happens is there are the two guys in the first photo and then one is not so good looking and the other one is really good looking and I'm like okay and you, you turn you, you look at the other photos and you're like okay it's the not so great looking guy and I'm like why well, would have gone for the friend so you have done yourself a disservice because the person's obviously comparing you and I'm sure you realize that as well to the better looking guy and then you're not going to be looked at in the same light unless of course you have a really great write-up in your profile which is so important all right so uh, on the note of 
photos um, the types of photos you take are so important some people send me photos which are so blurry and so dirty and so so poor quality and in this day and age with you know beautiful cameras even cheap ca the phones have good cameras there is absolutely no reason for you to take crappy photos um, and certainly not photos that are blurry and that you've sort of screenshotted and then pasted and done all sorts of crap with um, you know just high quality photos possible preferably not photos taken you know the mirror ones the one where you're standing and you've got the phone and you're looking and you're doing that please don't do that please don't do that and then some guys have it's so their their faces covered in the mirror and it's it's just no mirror for no no this you know that's just just lazy 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 um, no mirror photos um, I've had guys send me mirror photos that have been taken in a bathroom with the urinals behind them and I'm like what prompts you to take a photo of yourself in the bathroom okay even if you do you're looking particularly good because there's a big mirror in the bathroom you don't send that to somebody have some shame for God's sake have some class bathroom photos unless it's you know it's me in some really hot pair of undies in a nice bathroom um, like a hotel bathroom or something like that or you whoever in a nice hotel bathroom fine on a bathtub or whatever not in just some random bathroom with the toilets behind you oh my god do not do that and what's the next one one word replies from age likes what is that what is that you're obviously over 18 you're using the app you've obviously gone to school or college and college what 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 is it why can't you string a couple of words together so please use a sentence use a sentence use your fingers you're not even talking right I mean if you can't even communicate this way then how are you going to communicate okay you may not want to communicate all you want to do is have a hookup but some work needs to go into that I mean poor straight guys look at what they have to go through right in order to get the girls um, you know wine and dine and be charming and joke and be courteous and be chivalrous and you know all the things that we would generally like I think I would like as a gay guy I think I think it's important and I think guys who don't do it are lazy they're uneducated they are uncouth they are jungly and you do not deserve to be using those apps if you don't have decent profile photos if you don't have the balls to show yourself in the photos or at least in photos that you send to somebody if you don't have the education or the intellect to actually fill up a profile fill it up write something write your intention so that's another thing what are your intentions let's not waste time okay I'm looking to date I'm looking to maybe hook up with somebody if I have the chemistry but mainly date and I would like a relationship I would like a guy who communicates I'd like to talk to you over the phone before I do anything um, so this is what I'd like it's in my profile what else is in my profile my preference and I still get asked what's your preference like in the profile um, read read the profile you know ask questions have a conversation even my hookups have usually happened after a great conversation right ten minutes just chatting to each other hey what do you do how's your day talking about something about you know anything and just having a regular normal decent conversation you can still have a hookup after that there's nothing to stop you from doing that so you know fill out your profiles have a clear photo 
read profiles, read what's in the bio. Some guys write, read what's in my bio, and then I go to the bio and there's nothing. It's one sentence. It's terrible. I also hate profiles that actually say things like, um, you know, um, stay away, this person stay away, over 40, over 30 stay away, um, girly guy stay away, or fat guy stay away, and I just, I think there is a much better way to frame this. So you can just say, I'm interested in masculine, athletic built guys between 20 to 30. You don't need to say these guys stay away and be sort of, you know, derogatory. It's just, I mean, I look at that and I'm sorry that does not put you in a good light. And please, please, learn some English. Learn some English. Look at the YouTube videos. Okay, I can totally understand if you come from a country that English is not one of the main languages, then sure, then speak to me in fluent Spanish. That's fine too. I'll use Google Translate and that is fine too. Um, or speak to me in fluent Hindi, not vulgar, not uncouth, not crass, um, or whatever it is. Uh, obviously, if I don't speak a language, then I'll tell you. No entiendo. So, you know, I can say hola and gracias. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, of course you can. But just communication, I think that is so important. Um, so yeah, I, please, please use some of these tips and try. I just would like to see people try a little bit more. Um, so if I've forgotten anything, write it in the comments. Let me know in the comments what are the things that you guys would like? What are the things that you guys have experienced that have irritated you, frustrated you, um, constipated you? Uh, and, and, just, and what are the things that you think need to change? about how people interact and how they talk and I know it's a hookup app. There have been people who have made friends on the app after hooking up, who've had dates on the app after hooking up, who've had got married to the guy after hooking up. So these things do happen as well but they only happen to the guys who have actually tried and they've actually charmed the person and they've actually sort of put in some energy into this interaction. So head over to Gantnikaida online for uh, my sexy videos. And the last one was me taking a shower in my uh, swimming trunks and doing all sorts of naughty things. Uh, so um, take care, use the apps better now please and be proud. I'm all for same-sex marriage. I hope it happens for India and I hope more guys will be proud and come out and support and, and be like, yes, we need this. Change your mind, change, be proud of who you are. Alright, see you again soon.